हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज आवर लेक्चर नंबर 11 सॉलिड स्टेट फिजिक्स यूनिट नंबर वन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट इज जिंग ब्लेंड स्ट्रक्चर एंड डिटेल्स अबाउट इट सो द फेमस कंपाउंड दैट इज जिंग सल्फाइड एग्जिस्ट इन टू स्ट्रक्चर्स वन इज जिंग ब्लेंड स्ट्रक्चर एंड अदर इज ऊर्ज डाइज ऊर्ज डाइज स्ट्रक्चर ओके तो जिंग ब्लेंड स्ट्रक्चर होता है क्यूबिक स्ट्रक्चर एंड ऊर्ज डाइज स्ट्रक्चर होता है हेक्सागोनल स्ट्रक्चर सो वी हैव in course zinc blend structure so we will study about the zinc blend structure of zns so generally generally zinc blend structure is a cubic structure that is face centered cubic look at this unit cell the eight eight sulfur ions are present at the corners and six at the face centered of each face of this cube okay see so this is left face center of the left face this is center of the right face this center of the top face this is center of the bottom face this is center of the front face and this is center of the back face so the zinc blend structure the cubic structure has six sulfur ions at the corners and six sulfur ions at the center of each face okay so what about then zinc ion zn ion zn2 plus ion zn2 plus ions are present along the diagonal okay we already studied how to construct a diagonal in cubic structure okay we have to join two corners one at the front corner and other one at the back corner or binding by joining four corner four front corners and four back corners we can construct four diagonals we can construct four diagonals in cubic unit cell or in cubic structure okay now zinc ion Zn four plus ions are present along the diagonal, so we will place the zinc Zn two plus ions along the diagonals. First, we will construct the diagonals. Okay, now join these two corners. This one just look at my mouse arrow. This one back corner and one front front corner. So this will be one diagonal. Okay, and we will place three by fourth distance of this diagonal one zinc. Ion Zn2 plus ion. So, one Zn plus two plus ions ko one by uh, three by four distance pe place karenge. This is suppose this is first diagonal. Then again we will draw second diagonal and this is suppose this is back corner and this is front corner. So, this one will be the second diagonal and we will place Zn2 plus ion at one by four distance of this diagonal. If suppose this diagonal is starting from this atom and ends on this back corner atoms. and we will place zn2 plus ion at the distance of 1 by 4th of this diagonal so we will place zn2 plus ion alternately 3 by 4th and 1 by 4th distance of the diagonal now we will construct third diagonal okay by joining these two corners this is back corner and this is front corner only four diagonals can be constructed in cubic structure because there are eight corners and by joining two corners we can construct four diagonals okay now this is this one is third diagonal and we will place the zn4 plus ion at at a distance of 3 by 4th of this diagonal suppose this is the distance this diagonal is starting from this and ends on this so this will be the distance of 3 by 4 okay now we will draw draw last diagonal by joining this remaining two corner atoms okay so this will be a four diagonal and we will place the zinc at a uh, zinc ion at one at one by fourth distance so this i have placed one by four distance so this is the complete zinc blend structure okay in brief in brief eight sulfur ions are present at the corners and six are placed at the center of each face and four zn4 plus ions placed inside the unit cell along the diagonal so this is the complete structure of zinc zns that is cubic structure of zns that is also known as zinc blend structure okay this yellow i already told you this yellow spheres are nothing but sulfur ions and this red spheres are nothing but zn2 plus ion okay now we will see the coordination what is the coordination number related to that structure okay so in brief or in short i can say that 
these Zn4 plus and uh, these Zn2 plus ions are surrounded by four sulfur ions. Okay, so it means these Zn2 plus ions are tetrahedrally coordinated. Tetrahedral means four. Okay, so Z in surrounding of Zn2 plus ions, there will be uh, there uh, there is presence of four sulfur ions. So Zn2 plus is tetrahedrally coordinated. Hence, its coordination number will be six. So we'll see the coordination. Suppose this is zinc Zn2 plus ion, and this is already Zn2 plus ions, and this will be surrounded by these four sulfur ions. One, two, three, four. So this Zn2 plus ion is tetrahedrally coordinated. Similarly, all the Zn2 plus ions are tetrahedrally coordinated. Like in this way, this is tetrahedrally coordinated. One, two, three, four, surrounded by four sulfur ions. This one is also tetrahedrally coordinated. One, two, three, four, surrounded by four sulfur ions. This one is also tetrahedrally coordinated. One, two, three, four, four sulfur ions. It means each Z each Zn2 plus ion has tetrahedrally coordinated means the coordination for this zinc sulfite structure that is zinc blend structure is 4 so coordination number is nothing but 4 but one important point we have to note down out of 8 tetrahedral sites only 4 are 4 are occupied we can see that only 4 zn2 plus ions are there it means 4 zn4 plus ions are tetrahedrally coordinated it means they are occupied in tetrahedral position. This Zn2 plus ion is at tetrahedral position because it is coordinated by four sulfur ions. This also, this one also, and this. All four Zn2 plus ions are tetrahedrally coordinated. It means they are occupied four tetrahedral sites. So four tetrahedral sites are empty. Means out of eight, this zinc blend structure has eight tetrahedral sites, but only four are occupied and four are empty. So how these sites look like? Just I am constructing one more unit cell. Suppose this is same same unit cell I have drawn here. Same same zinc blend structures. Okay, same zinc blend structure I have drawn here. If I join this one, if I draw one plane here and one plane here. So I can see that there are total eight boxes. One, two, three, four. Four upper boxes and four lower boxes. One, two, back one, three, and four. So there are total eight boxes, and each box can be called as tetrahedral site. One, two, three, four. Four up box, uh, four top boxes, and four bottom boxes. One, two, three, four. Okay. So out of these eight boxes, only I can see that only four or out of these eight boxes four boxes contain zn2 plus ion just this one if suppose this one two three four this first box is contain zn2 plus ion second box is empty there is no zn2 plus ion okay and third box is empty fourth box contains zn2 plus ions and uh, look at the down uh, down boxes this fifth box contains zn2 plus but six is not seven box that is back box but eight box is not it means out of eight boxes only four boxes z uh, only four boxes are occupied by zn2 plus ion it means that if i consider one box as a tetrahedral site so out of eight tetrahedral sites only four are occupied okay so till now we have studied what is zinc blend structure how it can be constructed and secondly we have seen the coordination number related to that structure so co coordination number for zinc blend structure is 4 okay now now we will see coordination number is 4 okay now we will see how to establish the relation between the side of the unit cell you know that this is a cubic this is zinc blend structure and it is a cubic structure so cubic structure means all sides are equal that is parameters a equal to b equal to c so all sides are a and all angles are 90 now we will establish the relation between the radius of zinc and sulfur atom and the side of unit cell that edge length that is side of unit cell suppose uh, this is zinc blend structure i have already quoted in the last slide just see same structure without 
without showing any coordination i have quoted here same structure zinc blend structure now we will establish the relation between a and radius of atom so how can we establish the relation okay suppose i have labeled this okay before establish the uh, establishing the relation we will find out how many sulfur ions or sulfur atoms in this unit cell and how many zinc ions or atoms in this unit cell you know that i have already told you or we already learned in bravais lattices for cubic structure corner atoms contribution is 1 by 8. it means each corner atom is can be is shared by eight more unit cell uh, seven more unit cell total each corner atom shared by eight unit cell so corner atoms contribution will be 1 by 8. and you know that the face atoms contribution is half we have already studied while studying the bravais lattices face center atoms has contribution half okay so it means that sulfur ions are present at the corners and face center but zn2 plus ions present along the diagonal inside the unit cell so total contribution of zn4 plus ions the number of zn4 plus ions inside the unit cell is r4 okay number of zn4 plus ions uh, sorry number of zn2 plus ions present inside the unit cell is 4 so if i can if if i can uh, look at this figure or at this structure okay to main keh sakta hu ki is dabbe ke andar is unit cell ke andar char sudden 2 plus ions hai okay but sir but jo sulfur ions hai wo corner pe 8 hai aur 6 face centered pe but sulfur ions corner ke shared hote eight unit cell ke sath aur face centered ke sulfur ions share hote do unit cell ke sath ओके okay, तो इसका मतलब कॉर्नर आइटम के सल्फर आइटम का कंट्रीब्यूशन वन बाय एट ओके और फेस सेंटर के सल्फर आयंस का कंट्रीब्यूशन वन बाय टू सो हाउ कैन वी कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ सल्फर आयंस ओके इफेक्टिव नंबर ऑफ सल्फर आयंस इन दिस यूनिट सेल ओके सो लुक एट दिस नंबर ऑफ जिंक आइटम्स आर फोर आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड एट जिंक आयंस आर फोर बिकॉज वन टू थ्री फोर दे आर इन द यूनिट सेल सो दे विल नॉट शेयर other units uh, they will not share with other unit cell so number of zinc atoms in this unit cell is 4 or number of zinc ions is 4 uh, okay number of zinc ions in this unit cell is 4 okay now we will calculate the number of sulfur ions in this unit cell so corner atom contribution is 1 by 8 and total sulfur ions present at the corner is 8 so 1 by 8 into 8 plus total number of sulfur ions at the face center 6 and each face center ions contribution 1 by 2 half so 1 by 8 into 8 plus half into 6 it will be 1 plus 3 4 so number of sulfur atoms or sulfur ions present in the structure is 4 and number of zinc atoms or ions present in the structure is 4 so total number of zinc atoms or ions 4 and total number of sulfur atoms will be 4 So to self zinc is cation Zn2 plus and S is an an S2 minus. So number of positive charges are four and number of negative charges are also four. So this compound or this crystal, I can say that it is a neutral. Okay, because Zn is Zn in ionic form it is cation. So number of cations four. Sulfur in its ionic form it is an an number of sulfur ions four. so number of anions 4 and number of cations 4 okay so cations positive charges anions negative charges okay so this will create a create a neutral crystal so if someone asks in this zinc blend structure how many zinc ions 4 how many sulfur ions 4 so total number of atoms are 8 positive 4 ions and negative 4 ions so this crystal is neutral okay now in next slide we will see how to establish the relation between a and radius of atom okay now for that for that i am considering same unit cell and i have labeled these three atoms o c and b you know that the length of oc is a okay length of oc is a and length of bc is also a because these are the sides of unit cell okay now suppose this is a diagonal ob now i 
I can easily calculate the length of OB because OCB is the angle and all angles are 90 in the cubic structure and this zinc blade structure is cubic so this angle will be 90. Now I know this length A and this length is also A, OC, the length of OC is A, the length of BC is A. I can easily calculate the length of diagonal that is OB because this is right angle triangle, this is 90 degree angle. So by using Pythagoras theorem, I can calculate the length of OB. So by using Pythagoras theorem in this triangle, triangle OBC, okay. So we can easily calculate the length of OB to find the relation between A and R, okay. So in triangle OBC, in triangle OBC, OB is, OB is hypotenuse, OB square is equal to OC square plus BC square. So OC is nothing but A square, BC is nothing but A square, A square plus A square that is twice A square. So OB can, OB taking the square root, so OB will be root 2A. So length of OB I can easily find out with the help of Pythagoras theorem and length of OB will be, the length of this diagonal OB will be root 2 into A. Now I know the length of OB root 2A. I also know the length of OD that is the side of the universal that is A. Okay, this is OB is nothing but root 2A, OD is nothing but A. So I can find out the length of this diagonal of this cube that is OD. Just look at this triangle ODB that is right angle triangle because this angle is 90. This angle is 90. So I can easily find out the length of OD because I know the length of OB and BD and this is right angle triangle ODB so I can easily find out the length of diagonal of this unit cell that is OD. So in this triangle ODB OD square that is diagonal square is nothing but OB square plus BD square OB square plus BD but OB is nothing but under root 2 into A so in place of OB I can put under root 2 into A that is square plus BD BD is nothing but A A so root 2 square of root 2 is 2 and root of square of a is a square so 2a square plus a square 2a square plus a square that is 3a square od square is nothing but 3a square taking square root od is nothing but root through into a so i can easily find out the length of this diagonal od that is root 3 into a okay why we are finding the length of diagonal because we have to find we have to find the relation between a and r okay so i have found out the length of od is nothing but root 3 into a and, and you know that we have placed this zinc ion or zinc atom along this diagonal od just look at the my, my mouse arrow this zinc atom or zinc ion i have placed along this diagonal od and if i calculate the length if i say this atom if i, I already told you this zinc atom is placed at the distance of 1 by 4 from O and 3 by 4 from, from D. So if I if I see the length of length from this O atom to the zinc atom is nothing but 1 by 4 of this diagonal. So if suppose this point is A that is the zinc ion is or zinc atom is placed along this diagonal OD at a distance of 1 by 4 from atom O so OA will be 1 by 4 into OD. So OA, the length of OA is nothing but 1 by 4 length of this diagonal OD. So length of OA is nothing but 1 by 4 the length of this diagonal OD and diagonal OD is nothing but root 3 into A. So this will be the length of OA will be root 3 by 4 into A. So we find out the length of OA. Length of OA is nothing but root 3 by 4 into A. Now just look at these atoms. O atom is nothing but sulfur atom. A atom is nothing but zinc atom. In ionic form, I can say that O is nothing but sulfur ion and A is nothing but zinc ion. And okay, here in the distance, there is a lot of distance. Lag hai, but these two ke dono atom are in closely packed structure. Mein, closely packed structure, these two ke dono atom are connected. O and A. So in this way, this is suppose this O and this is A, that is O is sulfur ion, this is sulfur ion 
and a is nothing but zinc ion or zinc atom they are closely placed such that o is nothing but this atom origin of sulfur atom a is nothing but origin of zinc atom and they are closely packed if suppose the distance between o and a is nothing but root 3 by 4 into a so distance between o and a is nothing but the sum of the radius of sulfur atom and zinc atom sum of the radius of sulfur atom if suppose rs is the radius of sulfur atom and rzn is the radius of zinc atom so the sum of the radius of these two atom is nothing but oa that is nothing but root 3 by 4 into a so oa is nothing but sum of radius of sulfur atom and zinc atom so oa is rs plus rzn and that is nothing but the length oa that is root 3 by 4 into a so we have established the relation between side of the unit cell a and the radius of sulfur and zinc atom now we will find out the packing fraction so this is the relation between a and radius of sulfur and zinc atom rs plus rzn is equal to root 3 divided by 4 into a now we will find out the packing fraction you know that the formula for packing fraction okay so this is nothing but if from this from this we can calculate a root 3 by 4 is side shift kar dunga. if i shift root 3 by 4 on that side so a is nothing but 4 root 3 in the bracket rs plus rzn so i have established the relation between a and radius of sulfur and zinc atom okay atomic radii of sulfur and zinc atom now we will find out the packing fraction for this zinc plane structure so how can we find out we know the formula for packing fraction okay so this is the packing fraction or packing density of zinc blend structure number of atoms per unit cell into volume of each atom divided by volume of unit cell now you know that number of atoms per unit cell means this unit cell i have already told you just look at in this slide i have already told you or i have already we have already studied that number of zinc atoms are four and number of sulfur atoms are four and the radius of zinc atom is different and radius of sulfur atom is different so how can we calculate the packing fraction then so just look at the formula for packing fraction number of atoms per unit cell so we'll consider the zinc and sulfur atom separately so 4 4 is sulfur atom so 4 into number of sulfur atom 4 into volume of sulfur atom 4 by 3 pi r cube so this will cons we have to consider that radius of sulfur atom plus four zinc atoms are there four into volume of zinc atoms so volume of zinc atom will be four by three pi rzn means radius of zinc because we are considering the volume of zinc atom so we have to consider the atomic radius of zinc atom if i consider the volume of volume of sulfur atom so i have to consider the radius of sulfur atom okay so 4 into 4 means number of sulfur atom into volume of each sulfur atom plus number of zinc atom into volume of each zinc atom divided by volume of unit cell and volume of unit cubic unit cell that is a cube okay so 4 into 4 by 3 pi is common 4 into 4 by 3 pi is common 4 into 4 by 3 into pi 4 into 4 by 3 into pi this is common so in this bracket i will get rs cube plus rzn cube radius of sulfur atoms cube and radius of zinc atoms cube divided by and we know that what is a a is nothing but 4 divided by root 3 rs plus rzn cube okay I, we have already find out in the previous slide that is a is equal to 4 by root 3 rs plus rzn okay so after calculating this okay so 4 in this step 4 into 4 by 3 pi rs cube plus rzn cube divided by r 4 cube that is 64 root 3 cube that is 3 root 3 in the bracket rs plus rzn whole cube now in this step 4 into 4 by 3 pi this 64 by 3 root 3 okay if i take into the numerator so 3 root 3 will go into numerator and 64 will be in the denominator okay now i can cancel out this three in numerator uh, denominator this three in numerator three three cancel out okay also also this four into four 16 and this is 64 60 
to 16, 16 divided by 64 that is 1 by 4 ok so this root 3 is in numerator 16 1s are 16 16 4s are 64 so really this root 3 pi in the numerator and 4 will go into the denominator so it will be root 3 pi divided by 4 now in the bracket it is the term will remain rs cube plus rzn cube divided by rs plus rzn whole cube now from the standard table or from the standard value the atomic radii of zinc will be 0.74 angstrom and from the st standard table or from the standard chart chart we can find out the atomic radius or oh, that is the standard values so atomic radius of zinc is 0.74 angstrom atomic radius of sulfur that is 1.70 angstrom so we will put the value of rzn and rs in this equation or in this step okay we will put in place of rs we will put 1.70 angstrom in place of rzn we will put 0.74 angstrom so after putting these values we will get root 3 pi in divided by 4 that is 1.70 cube plus 0.74 cube divided by 1.70 plus 0.74 whole cube now root 3 the value of root 3 is 1.732 into value of pi is 3.142 divided by 4 now 1.70 cube plus 0.774 cube divided by 1.70 plus 0.74 cube if i calculate this we will get 0.4978 that is the packing density or packing fraction of zinc blend structure and if i multiply this then we will get a percentage packing fraction if i multiply this term by 100 i will get 50 percent almost packing fraction of this zinc blend structure is about 50 percent means zinc blend structure is 50 percent packed and 50 percent empty so this is the way to calculate the packing fraction for the zinc blend structure so today we we, we have seen how to calculate the packing fraction for zinc blend structure okay we have fi find out the relation between a and how to establish the relation between a and r and initially we have seen how to construct zinc blend structure and how to find out its coordination and how to find out number of atoms per unit cell for this zinc blend structure so in this way we have studied zinc blend structure in detail thank you